Hi, I'm James Brewer, author of Building Web Applications with Django and AngularJS. And in this tutorial, we're going to touch on the basics of Django, Django REST framework, and AngularJS and build our way up to a simple Google Plus clone with features like login, logout, registration, posting, and viewing and updating user profiles. With that said, let's take a look at what you will be building. When we open the application, you'll notice the login and register buttons in the top right corner here. And here you can see the register form and the login form. I've already created an account, so I'm not going to go through making a new one, but instead I'll just log in here. Now, once we're logged in, you'll notice that this blue circle pops up in the bottom right corner. If we click on that, it'll bring up a form asking us for some information to create a new post. So say this is my first time posting on not Google Plus and submit that. And you'll notice it pops up here. We get a message saying it was created successfully and we're good to go. You can also click on the name of the author and go to their profile, which will show you things like their username, their tagline, and any posts that they may have created. You can also view your profile by clicking on your name in the navigation bar here. Uh, obviously, these are the same because I just made this post. Furthermore, you can go to the settings page and update different options related to your account and your profile. For instance, you'll notice here that I have a tagline on my profile. Well, if you go to your settings, you can actually change this. So instead of hello thinkster, we'll have hello world. Let me submit that. It tells us our account has been updated. We can go back here. We'll see that the new tagline is in place. And just for good measure, we can also log out and it'll return us to the first view that we saw this time with a post.